Hi, I'm Claire. I teach computer applications technology here in Johannesburg. You know how your teacher always tells you to practice past papers? Yeah, that doesn't really help if you don't know how to do half of the stuff. That's what this is for. You'll find a link to the files in the description below, along with the table of contents, so you can just click straight to the question you need help with. We all learn the best from our mistakes, so please, you have to try this by yourself before you watch this video. Let's get into it. Okay, so I've already opened up everything we need over here. Um, I've opened up my HTML file and I did that by saying open with notepad plus plus and I've got that here in the background. So um, I've got the notepad plus plus on this side at the top here. I've run this in Chrome and I've popped it here in the corner and at the bottom here I have the paper with an example of what everything should look like because we have to refer to that quite often. So we're going to start and we have to add this juvenile diabetes as the browser tab title. So you'll see they indicate the question number here in a comment. So I'm just going to go and stand right after that and enter the tag title. Save this side, refresh that side. There you go. Now I need to adjust this heading type 1 diabetes. Before I do that, um, you'll see in the paper they actually said ensure only the heading is adjusted. But at the moment there's a problem because they've opened H1 and they've never closed it. And if we look at the example over here, everything else is not supposed to also be in a heading style. So the first thing I have to do is I actually have to close the heading 1 tag. See? Right. Now I need to change the font color to purple and change the font size. So I'm going to insert the tag font. And remember the order of your tags is very important. They have to be nested. So one inside the other font is inside bold is inside heading one. Now font by itself does nothing, but that gives me the ability to change the color to purple as well as the size to 24. Save, refresh. You'll see you can add more than one attribute to each tag. Now we have to edit this table and it starts over here 6-3. Firstly we need to add an additional column and create a cell, if you look at the example here, that stretches over two rows, as in this example. So at the moment I have a table with one, two, three rows, and in each row there is only one cell. A TD is one cell, table data. So this diabetes needs to be in a next cell here next to immune system attack. So I'm going to just add the tags TD to diabetes as well as checking your glucose level. Right, save, refresh, there you go, it's added those cells. Now the thing is, I need to set this one, diabetes is often referred to, to stretch over two rows. So I'm going to have to insert an attribute that's called row span equals two and then it will span over two rows. There you go. Now I need to set the width of this second column to 150. So wherever the first instance of this second column is, I will just add in width equals to 150. Now I need to add a picture here by 6.4. Um, and I need to do a whole bunch of the stuff. So let's just have a look at the example. You'll see in the example they have this little picture here in the corner, diabetes. Right. So let's see how one would do that. First we need to add the tag that we can add an image. That's called IMG. Okay, 
and end already because there's no text in the middle that there's an open and a closing tag. That by itself does nothing. Now I need to start by adding the source SRC and I type it exactly as they've given it to me in the paper or if they gave me the wrong one in the paper or half of it I would have gone to the file uh, or the explorer to have a look at what the exact name is. Right there's my picture. Now I need to set the height of this picture to 100. That's better. And I have to do a right alignment. So I'm going to go align equals right. And there we go, close to what this, well that's exactly what this one looks like as the example. Lastly, we need to add text that will display if the picture doesn't show. So that text goes into the alt attribute and it has to be type 1. Now at the moment one can't actually see any change but let's make a mistake in the picture source and see what would happen. You see it says type 1. Let's fix that again. Okay. Now we need to edit the bullets. Do you see what's happened here? Because I carried on typing this side, it's actually um, not applying word wrap. So in Notepad, you have to switch on word wrap if you want to see your paragraphs in full in the screen or the window size that's available. So always go and do that one. All right, we need to change the bullet list here by food. There's 6.5. Let's have a look at what it looks like over here. You see over there. Okay, so at the moment we have our bullets for the main bullets, but these two actually need to be numbered. So, seeing that this is indented, it ac it's actually a new numbered list. It's a sub number list. So, what I have to do is I'm going to start by saying this is a new ordered list. That by itself doesn't do anything other than indenting it. So then I still need to say where each item begins and ends. Okay, and then lastly I need to change the type as the example and it has to be in small numerical, Roman numericals. There you go. Now the last one is a link or the target area. So what they tell us is they have already created a link here on this balancing act, but the link doesn't work. If you click it, it doesn't work. So let's go and look at what they've done. This is what they've done on that button, on that image, they've created a link. I'm just quickly going to show you here in the tag sheet what it is that they've done, because they say they've already created the link, and basically this is what they've done. They've created the link to the target location somewhere else in the document. They've gone a href hashtag and then the name of the target location. Now they want us to still create the target location because that hasn't been done yet. So take careful note, the name of the target location needs to be balance. So we're going to go down and here by balancing act, we have to make this the target location. So we're going to say a for anchor and in the anchor we're doing a name equals balance Ooh, let's just spell correctly balance all right so the name of this target location is balance now you'll see if i do that absolutely nothing changes to this but now i have the ability to click on it and it actually moves down the page and the button actually works